Hey folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden. And the other day I was uh, watching um, one of Randy uh, Brown's from Thunder Horse Descendants um, live videos. And she showed that she had broken a pendant. And uh, a sea glass pendant. And I said, well, if one of her friends suggested gluing it to get back together. And she said, oh no, I can't do that. That wouldn't be right. And I said, well, you know, the Japanese, when they glue something back together that's been broken, they add gold to the glue, and then they consider it better than it was before it was broken because it's more valuable. It has gold in it. So she said, yeah, but how do you do that? And, you know, I said, and I thought to myself, and I thought, you know, I'm not sure because I've never done it, but I'm going to try a little experiment, and we're going to see if we can make it happen. So let's turn down and I'll show you what I have and we'll see if it's going to work. Okay, what I have here is some E6000, which is the glue I always use. And then I have some gold liquid gilding. And I'm thinking maybe we can mix the gold gilding in with the E6000 and make some gold glue. But I'm sure it will mix together, but I'm not sure that it will. the E6000 will then dry properly. So this is the experiment. Let's go put some little E6000 down on my mat here. We're not going to use very much because, well, for one thing, we don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> and uh, for two things, we don't want a lot because what we're trying to find out is if it will mix good and if it will look right. And then after that, if it will dry. So let's take some out of here and we'll mix it in with this. And actually, it mixes in really well. Now the question is going to be, what does it look like when it dries? And will it dry worth beans? So, I'm going to find something to glue with this pretty gold that we just made. Close this cap up so we don't get our gilding paint off. And uh, then we'll see how it works. Ha! This is great. I'm looking for something that was broken and well I can't find anything broken I usually throw them away so I just got a couple of my little inexpensive drooks and we're gonna just glue them together we're gonna put quite a bit of glue on here because we want to look at good it looks cool And then we'll just put this other one right to it and we'll let it dry. Maybe we'll add a little more glue on this side since it looks a little not quite even. anyway we're just gonna leave that there and we'll come back in a while and we'll see if it dries up and if it does how well it dries up and if it looks like it's gonna stick good I suspect that the Japanese have actually a gold powder or something that they put in their glue but since I don't have any gold powder powder but I do have gilding paste or gilding paint liquid gilding okay. anyway I got this from Michaels it's pretty I got a silver one and a brass one too I don't use it very often because well frankly the stuff is usually already the color I want it to be when I get it so but every once in a while like I'll want to touch up something or maybe even make something be half and half so I think it's pretty cool stuff so we'll just let this sit here and we'll see if it dries now I've come back and looked at it I've only been gone about 15 minutes so it's not going to be entirely dry obviously but usually in 15 minutes it's dry enough that it's getting tacky and 
where I've scraped. Got a little bit of gold on me, but not that much. I think it's going to dry. It may take a little longer than normal, but I think it's going to work. See, barely anything on my finger. So, I think so. I think that's going to work. So, let's see what the beads look like. I don't want to play with them too much because I know it's still wet. But I don't know how well you can see that. Let's get it red. There we go. Let's see, these are like olive colored drukes, and they've got that gold stripe in them now where I glued them together. So they're not quite wet. See, I did get some paint on my hand with that one. <laughs> I mean, not quite dry, I should say. Not quite. They're plenty wet. <laughs> so now that we our little experiment is, looks like it's going to work, I'm going to need to clean up my mat in a minute, get this gold glue off of it. My toothpick still has quite a bit on it. Wish I had something that else that needed glued, but I do not, so... It is the way it is. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to clean this up. We'll come, we'll visit this again in a few hours because it will probably take that long to dry to be decent dry. And, uh, we'll be back in a bit to do that final check. I took my, uh, camera out of the tripod so you could see this a little better. This is the, um, the drukes that I glued together with the gold glue, and this is the gold glue. As you can see, it's getting pretty dry. And E6000 takes 24 hours to be considered entirely set up. So I think we're really we're doing really good here. So yeah, I think that works. So E6000 and gold gilders paint. And uh, wow, that's how you glue with gold so there we go gold glue cool huh bye